monument and across to Old Town and up and down the Potomac. I, I've never seen a site like this, honestly. And when it opened at 11 p.m. recently, there was a nighttime traffic jam. How many people do you expect to come here? A day? Uh, I think there'll be 20, 30,000 people a day. There is a huge casino. It's, it's larger than the White House in terms of its square footage. And it's uh, energetic. How much money can you make in a casino in a day? We don't make $200 million a year. Someone's going to have a chat with me at the board room. And only half of that revenue is projected from gambling. There are 15 restaurants and high-profile stores, like Sarah Jessica Parker's first boutique. It's not just being in New York or Chicago. It's a very unique organism, right? And there will be entertainment like Cher and Bruno Mars in a 3,000-seat theater. I promised a lot of people uh, a billion-dollar resort. I didn't spend a billion dollars. I spent a billion four <laughs> and because uh, I just got into it. There's even a conservatory. This is going to change four times a year? So this will be up through the holiday, and then during Chinese New Year's, we'll have a different display, then another one in the spring, we're going to feature cherry blossoms. Murin says they decided to put Las Vegas on the Potomac because Washington already attracts millions of visitors who have money to spend and are looking for more things to do. A few months ago, you said that this resort will blow Donald Trump's downtown hotel away. Do you stand by that? Uh, yes. I love beautiful hotels. I stay in beautiful hotels. But we didn't build a hotel here. We built an entertainment uh, hub. You know he's not going to like that. You know what? Um, I respect him immensely, but um, from an entertainment component, I mean, come on. There's another element to the project. It will generate 4,000 jobs. 80% of the employees here are people of color. I represent an industry, the gaming industry, of almost 2 million Americans. Uh, it's the pathway to the middle class, this, this industry. One more point about the casino on the hill. In deeply polarized Washington, Murin says this may be the only thing everyone can agree on. Uh, Republicans? They can't wait to come. Uh, Democrats can't wait to come. There's not as much to do in D.C. as people would like, and that's where we come in. Another highlight of the complex is the artwork, including a piece from singer-songwriter Bob Dylan. And that's it for today. Have a great week, and we'll see you next, Fox News.